Hello everybody, my name is Kevin Hammond and I've lived in Johannesburg for 31 years. One of my favourite places to visit in the city is the Johannesburg Zoo and the South African Military History Museum. They're together in one complex, the, the entire zoo complex covers an area of over 55 hectares. Uh, the museum is in that complex as are many conference halls and the Anglo War uh, Memorial you can see behind me. So let's take a closer view and see one of Johannesburg's premier attractions. Opened in 1914, this cenotaph commemorates all the victims of the Anglo Boer War, which was fought in 1899 to 1902. Entrance to the museum is paid, and there are many talks and seminars held throughout the year. The Ditsong South African National Museum of Military History has over 44,000 different exhibits divided into 37 different categories. Many of the exhibits are one-of-a-kind pieces that you won't see anywhere else in the world. Let's take a closer look. There are many world-class exhibits here at the museum. Some of them are one-of-a-kind pieces you won't see anywhere else in the world. Like this ME 262 two-seater night fighter, the only one in existence. There are three different exhibition halls with thousands of items from guns that were used in the 1600s up to a full scale mosquito bomber made out of wood and in perfect condition. There are numerous aircraft from World War I all the way up to the border war inside the exhibition halls. I highly suggest you come and have a look and spend some time looking at the medals, the um, artifacts and everything in between. It's highly informative. With all the signs in English and very helpful staff, many of the memorials to South Africa's most elite units will give you a unique understanding as to the sacrifices made by members of all races to bring about the modern South Africa we have today. The museum is not just a collection of weapons and artifacts, it also houses monuments and memorials such as the battle honours and standards of 3-2 Battalion, arguably the most formidable fighting force in African history. In the main courtyard there are examples of all the aircraft used by South Africa throughout its military history, from the Bush War to the Second World War, even the Mirage behind me did see service in combat. And this gives you a real sense of the rich military history that South Africa has and also of the magnificent displays that have been put on here at the museum.
so many unique exhibits and showpieces. If military history is your thing, I would suggest spending a full day at the museum. You won't be bored, there's the library upstairs with unique books, and often they will give presentations from service members so that their stories aren't forgotten. If you want to see something a little bit more lively, however, spend half a day at the museum and then spend the other half at the zoo. Let's go there now. Located just across the road from the Military History Museum is the Johannesburg Zoo, home to some of the greatest exhibitions of animals and wildlife on the African continent. Take a picnic lunch, come to the Johannesburg Zoo, you'll have a great time. Johannesburg Zoo was founded in 1904. It covers 55 hectares in the leafy northern suburbs of Johannesburg. One of the Johannesburg Zoo's most famous attractions was Max the Gorilla. This primate rose to stardom in 1997 when he apprehended two burglars who jumped into his walled enclosure. Passing away in 2005, the zoo erected this bronze statue in memory of their most famous animal. The zoo hosts a number of music festivals and other functions. Behind me you can see them setting up the pavilion for the upcoming Festival of Lights. There are many festivals, readings and even guided tours taking place throughout the year, making the Johannesburg Zoo one of the premier picnicking locations in the city. With rides to keep the kiddies entertained, you are sure to find the zoo as one of the best places to be during a sunny Johannesburg afternoon. With the animal enclosures clearly marked and multiple helpful info boards, you will definitely leave knowing a lot more about our precious wildlife than when you arrived. As you can see from these beasts behind me, the zoo's got all the biggest animals on display and they're housed in humane, very spacious conditions, so they're pretty happy and you can look at them and uh, see what wonderful creatures they are. It's hot and hungry work to look at all these magnificent creatures. Luckily, there are many food and refreshment stands to cater for every need. The Animals of the Amazon Pavilion showcases many rare and unique specimens that you may never have the chance to see again. It highlights the truly international character of the Johannesburg Zoo, where you can see not only Africa's wildlife, but species from throughout the world. For a true sense of the spirit and history of Johannesburg, I highly suggest a day at the Ditsong Museum of Military History and the adjoining Johannesburg Zoo.